Hello everyone and welcome back to another a Master chess game from the history of chess. And in this chess game we have Nona Gapriandishvili with the white pieces and her opponent is Juraj Nikolic who is playing with the black pieces. A very interactive chess game from 1979 in the Vikanzi Netherlands. So in this chess game Nona Gapriandishvili by the way uh, she was the first woman chess grandmaster, a very important chess player, and she was the fifth world chess champion of women's division, and her opponent, Juraj Nikolic, was a Yugoslav chess grandmaster. So let's see what happened in this fantastic chess game from 1979. So Gapriandishvili starts the game with pushing the e-pawn, e4, c6, and this is the Karakan defense, knight to d2, D takes on e4, knight takes on e4, developing the bishop, knight back, bishop back, and then h4, very aggressive, pushing the h pawn and planning to push the pawn to h5, so black is preventing that, h6 and h5. Bishop goes back, knight to f3, knight to d7, bishop to d3, exchanging the bishops and e e6. Bishop to f4, checking the king, blocking, and also developing the queen, developing the knight, a4 by Gapriandishvili, c5 charging at the center, and she castled, rook over, rook over, targeting the king, and then c c4, gaining the space advantage, white goes back, bishop to e7, and Gapriandishvili is getting in with the knight knight to e5 and black finally castled and this is actually one of the interesting moments of this chess game and in this position white played an amazing move can you see an amazing move in this position for white well Gapriandishvili played knight to f5 what a move sacrificing the knight throwing the knight into the fire but actually, if capturing the knight, the possible continuation is pretty obvious. In this position, black played rook over and defending the bishop. This is also, of course, attacking the bishop. Why not accepting the sacrifice, then capturing the knight? Knight takes on d7 and capturing the bishop. And actually, we can say that white is better because a black has double pawn structure. This is also attacking the knight. A white has the open file and this favors for white white is looking better also white has the bishop so knight to f5 was a very dynamic and a beautiful move rook over defending the bishop and it is white to move now can you see the best move for white actually white has a very beautiful tactical shot in this position but after that move if black can defend accurately actually black is going to survive but unfortunately, this is going to be a small spoiler. Black couldn't manage to defend and he gave the W to his opponent. So in this position, Gapriyan Dishvili sacrificed her knight. Knight takes on g7. King takes on g7. Why did, why did she sacrifice her knight? Did you see the follow-up? The follow-up is bishop takes on h6, king takes on h6, well, Nikolic didn't want to go back because of this very obvious reason, queen to d2, and maybe he was afraid because of queen to g5, and defending this threat seems pretty tricky, uh, because in this position, if you move the knight, then knight takes knight, and if capturing the knight, I think rook takes seems like a very good move. Also attacking the queen and there is no time for defending the queen because of queen to g5. So this is why this position looks very dangerous and black captured the bishop. And then knight takes on f7, checking the king. And where is the king going? King takes on h5. If king goes up, then checking the king and this is actually all over how to defend the checkmate threat. Engine says giving up the queen, but that's 
ridiculous of course so king takes on h5 and then can you see the next move flashing up the king and in this position actually white played a very strong move the first woman chess grandmaster Gabriel Dishvili is throwing the kitchen sink to her opponent g4 we have king to h4 well if king takes on g4 then queen to g6 seems like a very strong move and if knight takes on g4 then checking the king and where is the king going this is the only defense and then everything is going to the south actually this is getting checkmated by force so pushing the pawn king to h4 and then what would you do <laughs> how should white play in this position did you see the best move f3 of course this is the move and how on earth are you going to defend queen to h2 because of desperation we see knight takes on g4 let's play a random move well actually this is getting checkmated there is no sensible defense so knight takes on g4 and then pinning the knight and black resigned what a beautiful chess game this was the art of the attack by nona gaprian dishvili let me show you the possible continuation black can actually prolong the game but if some silly very silly random move then black is actually getting checkmated this knight is pinned so king to h5 just for prolonging the game and then simply capturing the knight and how on earth are you going to defend queen to h2 so queen to f5 defending but then queen to h2 only defense capturing the bishop check mate what a game what a game and what a game so thank you very much for watching i hope you have enjoyed watching this chess game and i hope to see you next time with more instructive beautiful chess games take care and bye bye